Meanwhile, we've got to talk about this. The state uh, media has reported, the Chinese state news media, reporting that North Korean leader Kim Jong-un did, in fact, make a surprise visit to Beijing to meet with President Xi Jinping. The North Korean leader reportedly told his Chinese counterpart that Pyongyang is committed to denuclearization and is willing to talk to U.S. officials. Mm. President Trump just tweeted about this moments ago. We want to get this tweet out right away. Here's what the president just said. For years and through many administrations, everyone said that peace and the denuclearization of the Korean Peninsula was not even a small possibility. Now there is a good chance that Kim Jong-un will do what is right for his people and for humanity. Look forward to our meeting. Mm. And of course, we know that the the president is planning on meeting uh, the head of the uh, uh, North Korea in May. Harry, do you do we know what Kim Jong Un would want uh, <laughs> in exchange for potentially giving up his nuclear weapons? Do we believe that he even would consider such a thing? Well, Maria, that's the golden question in this whole situation. What does Kim Jong-un want? I think at a bare minimum, he's going to want some sort of peace treaty to formally end the Korean War, some sort of diplomatic recognition by the United States, potentially as much as hundreds of billions of dollars in economic assistance. That might be one of the reasons he actually went to China. Yeah. Uh, he, he's going to demand a lot, but we're also going to demand a lot. We're going to need to have really tough inspections to go in and make sure the North Koreans are actually living up to the deal. Right. But it even gets worse. I mean, do they give up their chemical weapons or missiles. We have a lot of questions this morning and not a lot of answers. Mary Kissel, you're not buying it, and, yeah, you're, and no. you're also not buying this uh, first major trade deal with South Korea. No, you? but just first first on this North Korea meeting, uh, Kim Jong-un's uh, goal here, Maria, is to combine the two Koreas and to have North Korea run South Korea. That's the goal. He wants to eject U.S. troops from the Korean Peninsula. He is never going to voluntarily give up his nuclear program. The only way that North Korea talking to China is a good thing is if China is brokering a deal to take Kim Jong-un and put him into exile in Monaco or some prison uh, 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 somewhere in the world. That's the only way that that's going to be a good, a good meeting. Interesting that China reinserted itself. Real quick on this deal, why aren't you buying this South the, Korea? So uh, uh, Trump administration says that this is a great for free trade. This is not market opening. This is called managed trade. This is where uh, we're going back to the 1980s, where we're trying to set quotas and limits on how certain goods move between countries. It's not market opening. It, it's not good for trade. It rewards certain industries. In fact, I'd say it's a little bit of the swamp uh, coming back to Washington. Wow. All right. We'll keep watching that. Harry, great to have you this morning. Thanks so much for your insights. Thanks for having me, guys. Harry Cassianis there.